Happy Sunday, everybody. I was on the internet today and I saw this recipe and I just had to share it with you. It's so easy and uh, I've not tried it before. It's like I said, I just saw it. So we're going to give it a try together and see what happens. What you do, and there was, the instructions were very limited. I mean, it's not like it was um, real explicit directions. But it said, take frozen fruit. Wow, didn't realize this had so much ice in it, but we're just going to use it anyway. And I didn't think that was enough. It just didn't look like enough. So I had some blackberries that I, some, a good friend of mine gave to me. And I need to use them. So I'm just going to put those blackberries in. Because it said take frozen fruit and put it in a pan. I sprayed this pan. I don't know what size it is. It looks like it's about an 8 by 10 or 12, something like that. You put your frozen fruit in there. You take a box of cake mix. Which I'm going to cut off the top. And you just sprinkle that on top. I guess you could use any kind of fruit in here that you wanted. And if you used a darker, you could use a darker cake mix and not use the can of Sprite. That's what it said. Cake mix. Your choice. Uh, the berries. And, ooh, I'm making a mess. And a can of Sprite. So here's my Sprite. But I was thinking if you used a darker cake mix, some of these didn't come out. Um, you could... Um, you could use Coke instead of Sprite. I don't see any reason why you couldn't. Not especially Coke, but a, um, a dark drink. Then you just pour the Sprite over it. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm trying to get you in this camera here. This is all there is to this recipe. You put it in an oven at preheated to 350 and you bake it for 35 minutes. So here's my Sprite. This is the cake mix I used. But like I said, um, if you use a dark cake mix, you, can, you don't have to use Sprite. You could use a dark cola. Up to you, your choice. All right, I'm going to put this in the oven, 350, for 35 minutes. I'm trying to get you a shot there. That's what it looks like. I'll bring you back when that 35 minutes is up, and we'll try a piece of this and see how it is. Well, I took the little cobbler out of the oven. It said 30 to 35 minutes. I left it in 40, because, hoping that something would happen to the top of this because it still looks like cake mix to me. So I went back and checked the recipe and sure enough, this is all that it called for was cake mix, a Sprite, and some frozen fruit. So right now I'm very disappointed very disappointed in this. I haven't tasted it, but we're going to give it a taste right now. Let me move it further out. Get my little plate over here. Can't see that either. Well, we're going to take a bit of it. Now it's got plenty of juice. Part of the cake cooked, as you can see. Part of it did not. Here's the juice from my blackberries and uh, peaches. I don't 
know, I'm thinking maybe a, some butter or something on top of that cake mix would have helped. <clears throat> but like I said, it was an experiment. I'm going to give it a second here to cool down. I'll give you the taste, my expert advice on how this tastes. Well, I have to say that if it wasn't for the raw part of the cake mix, it would taste good. It really would. I'm not going to say it tastes excellent. But it has a very decent taste to it. To be as simple as it was... But you know, as simple as it was, if it's not going to cook all the way, what good is it? Well, the fruit cooked. The Sprite gave it enough sweetness, but not too much. I'm thinking... another educated guess here is that if you only used half of the cake mix instead of all of it, it may have um, been more suitable, but to me I mean, I just I don't like eating anything that's got something on it that's not cooked. I followed the recipe I mean, as short as it was, because that's all it said. Followed it to the T. If you want to try it with um, just using a half of a box of cake mix, I'd go ahead and give it a whirl here. But um, and if you want it a bit sweeter, which I'm, I'm I also saw that this was. When I went back to check after I took this out, that it is um, a Weight Watchers recipe. So that's why there's no added sugar. But the top should have definitely not been crumbles like this is. That is nothing but a crumble. I mean, who wants to eat that? It was a test, so, you know, if you want to try to improve on it, just use half a, half a box of cake mix or a stick of butter or something that's going to take it out of the Weight Watchers range, but it needed, that's what it needs. It needs something to have dissolved the rest of this cake mix on here. Well, so much for my experiment. I'm going to give you a real good close-up, I hope. Well, maybe not. There you go. And if you can see, that's all just cake mix. Well, it was worth a shot, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Have a great Sunday. And I'll see you again with a tried and true recipe.